Hello, lovely perfume lovers. Um, this is my first unboxing from Nortino. It's my first time buying uh, from this website. I had never come across the website until very recently. I bought a bunch of things. I can't remember what I got, so let's find out what's in the box, uh, shall we? But I basically need to stop shopping online for perfume. Um, <laughs> yeah. Let's see how far that resolution goes. But it's super fast uh, postage, by the way. And so I was very happy with that. Okay. Any samples? No! So I got Vintage Bloom from Jessica Simpson. Really beautiful box, I gotta say. I'm loving the vintage vibes on this beautiful box. Um, yeah. And I also got Diva La Juicy Noir. I love this. I tried this and I got a small bottle of this and I decided that this is going to join my perfume wardrobe because it was a, such a delicious, delicious fragrance. I feel very sassy. I feel very youthful. I feel very energetic. I feel pretty when I'm wearing this. So I was like, yeah, this is going to come into my wardrobe. Okay, so we're going to do the Vintage Bloom. Okay, so it's got a sleeve. And Jessica Simpson is only on the sleeve, but on the actual box itself, we don't have Jessica Simpson. So let's open this up and let's have a look at what's inside. Separately, I like this pink color. I'd love this in nail polish. That would be so pretty. I'm just going to go get a piece of paper to try this. We're going to start off with... a. Uh, Vintage Bloom, so really nice box here, I have to say. The box feels very, very lush. I had to get my screwdriver to uh, open this. This means that I can't return it now that I've opened it. So you better be good, Vintage Bloom. Again, this is another YouTuber. A YouTuber made me buy this. Oh. beautiful bottle it reminds me of lemon cream biscuits they had the exact same shape so very vintage very victorian style let's have a smelly okay mm. let's have a smell of that so the top notes on this vintage bloom are lemon and lime, which is so funny because I was saying how this reminds me of these biscuits called lemon creams uh, from when I was a child. The middle notes are peony and raspberry bloom. Uh, peonies in real life don't really have a very strong, a super strong fragrance. They are very good looking plants. So I've often found that perfumes that I've initially been excited about um, especially since I, when, when I just discovered perfumes, which was about a month ago. So I think I should give you that context. I'm not a perfume expert. I mean, this this is all about just sharing my journey uh, with perfumes. But um, yeah, I found that it seems like each different company has got a different interpretation of what peony smells like, which is quite easy to do because they don't generally have a very strong fragrance. Uh, raspberry bloom, I don't know what that is, whether it's raspberry blossom that they mean. Um, which does kind of have a fragrance because uh, the plant needs to attract pollinators in order for it to make the uh, fruit. So it definitely has some sort of a smell, but not very distinctive. And then the base notes are musk and sandalwood. I tend to like musk and sandalwood uh, together, which is uh, pretty awesome. So just smelling this. In terms of how this smells, I'm getting... I'm getting lemon, uh, quite uh, a lot of lemon. Dare I say almost like lemon meringue pie or lemon cake or something like that. Um, but quite light. It's almost 
uh, if you've ever used those shampoos that have like lemons or citrusy fragrance, um, you know, uh, fragrance in them, this sort of reminds me of that. It's got that clean lemon citrusy shampoo uh, scent to it. Um, I'm not, I'm definitely not detecting anything that could be peony or even pinkiness. So I'm not even imagining pink colors when I'm smelling this. I think it's a citrus floral. Is there such a thing as citrus floral? There's a hint of floralness to it. And the musk is um, just a little bit there, not as heavy or as thick as in Fancy, which was the first Jessica Simpson perfume that I tried now. That had a lot of musk in it. It was quite uh, musky, especially in the dry down. After it dried down on me, it was just pure musk. But this one's got more. Um, the sandalwood, I'm really struggling to get the sandalwood. Like I really have to concentrate very hard in order to get it. But I've tried it on paper. I haven't tried it on my skin yet. I'll have to try it on my skin to talk about longevity. But so far, it does have a nice light floraliness. I... I can see myself wearing this in spring and summer. That's immediately what I'm thinking of. And that's probably because of the citrusiness to it. I do love the bottle. I think that the bottle design is up there. Possibly one of my favorite uh, bottle designs. Okay, uh, let's open up uh, Viva La Juicy Noir now. Viva La Juicy. The box really is beautiful and sticks out a lot. Look at how beautiful that bottle is. I love the hot pink. I love the little black bow. Juicy Couture Noir. Viva la Juicy Noir. <laughs> I have tried this. I love it. This lasts ages on me. Um, the smell, the fragrance, the scent that it gives... It doesn't change that much. I think that's what's called a linear fragrance. So it doesn't actually change um, on my skin. But I don't I like it. I really like it. And yeah, it's just so fresh. We're just going to spray some of it. Uh, love the bottle. Um, yeah, so. Mm. Mm, mm. It's like a, a proper floral punch you know it feels like i've taken 30 showers in you know if shower water was just pure flowers and raspberry and oh so so beautiful i love how this uh smell and which i never went through the juicy couture phase i never bought their track suits their velour track suits and all that you can imagine my shock horror when i tried uh, their perfume and actually realized that at 40 years old I'm going to be buying something from Juicy Couture when I'd never bought anything from them during their heyday when I was a teenager or when I was in my 20s but their perfume is beautiful and I love it my husband loves it he can't stop sniffing me whenever I'm wearing it and for the price point I can't complain too much so this is Juicy Couture Noir this is a big bottle purchase, which means that I have committed to adding it to my perfume uh, wardrobe. So that's the two perfumes that I had today that I ordered from Notino. I like the service that I got from Notino. I appreciate that they also put in a sample, which is fantastic. Uh, postage was super quick. Everything just went smoothly. I'll definitely be buying more stuff from Notino. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe and join along my my perfume madness <laughs> and uh, recommend any channels for me. I am just eating up a lot of uh, perfume content. Bye.